Welcome to my garden. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're further discussing extreme zone pushing and the plant for today is Yucca Gigantea. This plant originates from Central America and Southern Mexico. When we think of yuccas we typically think of desert plants but this plant will take a considerable amount of water. It's a multi-stemmed, multi-trunked tree. It can reach 40 feet tall, 12 meters, give or take. And the base is a swollen trunk, which can be several meters across. The plant is hardy to USDA Zone 9B, Zone 9A in sheltered locations. It's become a very popular house plant worldwide. In fact, in many milder climates, it has naturalized. The plant is tolerant of extreme weather conditions. It will take blazing sun and high temperatures, but it will also take a fair bit of cold. This was originally three trunks. One of those trunks had developed rot. So I cut the stalk, removed the rotted section, allowed it to callus over, and now I'm trying to root them. This plant was put into the ground back in June of 2020. It was based on the success of another clump, which has been in the ground over two years now. This clump of yuccas has been in the ground over two years. It has successfully overwintered. After the first winter, I knew it wasn't a fluke. Let's have a closer look. Here's the base of the plant. It's developing quite a trunk just after a couple years, five inches across. This branch and this branch have come out just since last fall. So all of this growth is less than one year. This is the base of the Yucca Gigantea. The plant does readily branch out as you can see here. It will branch out from the trunk at any point and it develops into quite a thick clump. You can prune it to maintain its size and you can also remove the sharp points. It can be quite deadly. Originally, this was the plant that was in the ground. This stem got too tall, so I cut it off and I planted it beside the mother plant and now it's about seven feet tall. This is another yucca I grow. It's called yucca dismantiana or blue boy yucca. It is rated hardy to zone seven, about minus 17 Celsius. This plant was originally three stalks. The remaining stalk is just over two meters tall. I cut off the other two stalks and as you can see it's putting out new growth. This is shot back in June. Two weeks after I cut the stalk it put out new growth from the base and currently August 4th it is now just about eight inches tall or about 20 centimeters. These plants are extremely fast growing and can be controlled by pruning or restricting the amount of water. As I mentioned, all my plants are in raised beds, which allows for quick drainage, and during the spring, they warm up quicker. Winter protection for my tropicals and subtropicals consists of putting up a cold frame. The cold frame is a twin wall polycarbonate. It allows the plants to warm up with the winter sun. In our climate, Zone 5B Canada, we don't have to worry about them overheating. The sun's intensity is not that strong this far north. The ambient temperature through the winter when it's sunny is about 20 degrees, which is around 68 Fahrenheit. In warmer climates, you will have to ventilate or only put up the cold frame during the coldest parts of the winter. The heat source for my plants through the winter is a string of Christmas lights with C9 bulbs. They're plugged into a thermocube, which regulates the temperature between plus two and plus five Celsius. In other words, 35 to 45 Fahrenheit. Well, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, 
and want to see more, please subscribe. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Happy gardening.